Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my ice latte. This is my favorite thing in the whole wide world if you guys watch my favorites video. Um, but yeah, I have myself a nice little drink. I'm sitting down. It's kind of gloomy outside, hence the freaking sweatshirt in April, but whatever. I thought that I would just um, chat you guys through some of the books that I read uh, these last few months. In 2019, I made a goal to read a book a month. Yeah, so I thought I would just quickly chat you guys through the books that I read, and these are all books that I would definitely, definitely recommend, and they're all extremely different, which I love. The one thing that I really wanted to do was incorporate other people's recommendations as well. I have a very um, like specific type of book that I like to read. As you guys know, I like to read like memoirs, biographies, like I just love people and their stories and their lives and so that's very like where I like to be <laughs> in the reading lane. And I really wanted to expand my horizons and read different kinds of books um, recommended by people in my life. So I have a few of those. And if you guys have any recommendations for me or anybody else in the comments, please leave it down below. It's so fun to interact with you in those comments. And I, yeah, I just wanna pick up lots of new books um, that you guys recommend. So definitely do that. Also, don't forget to pause the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate your support here on my channel. Don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoy these kinds of videos. It just helps me know which kind of content you guys like and just helps build our community. So without further ado, let's just hop right in. Okay, these are the four books that I read January to May. And I'm working on my April book right now, which will be in the next book review. Um, but yeah, I read four just because, I guess to be fair, the first book I started in December, but it took me so long because I was just like, I'd pick it up and then I wouldn't read it and then I'd pick it up, so it took me a long time. But I will just start from um, the first book, and this is the book that I wanted to read um, so every single month I will pick a book, or like every other month, I will pick a book that I want to read and then the next month will be a suggestion from someone else. So this was my um, pick, if you will, and this is Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. And I feel like if you have been on social media for longer than a day, you have heard about this book, have seen this book. It is such a good book. This is actually my mom's copy and she lent it to me. And it's such an amazing book about if you're a mother, if you're a young adult, if you are an aspiring entrepreneur, like it's just, there's so many hidden gems in this book that just help really inspire you to just keep going on your journey. And if people tell you no, they're gonna tell you no, and that's not the end all be all. Um, so I can read a little bit of what the book is about. So it just says, with painful honesty and fearless humor, Rachel unpacks and examines the falsehoods that once left her feeling overwhelmed and unworthy and reveals the specific practical strategies that help her move past them. So that's just like a brief little summary of the book. One thing I really took away from this book is people are going to tell you no and you can't do something, but just do it anyway. Even just how this book came about, she was told no, like it's not a good book, we're not going to publish it, and then she went and just published it herself and now it's all over the place she has another like it's just she's so inspiring and so just such a badass woman I love her oh gosh I've already been rambling so this next book is what I read for January and it's after I read um, girl wash your face because that one I finished pretty early on in January and this was actually Sebastian's picks Sebastian is my fiance he is so just like business savvy business minded loves everything business entrepreneur like he loves it. So I feel like I make fun of him all the time because those books will like send me to sleep instantly. But he wanted me to read this and I actually posted this on my Instagram and loads of you said that you loved this book too. So I, that made me like a little more excited. So this is Start With Why by Simon Sinek. i probably not saying that right. But this book was really good. The only thing was I think my mindset was just like Mm, not the best. So this book is all about how great leaders inspire everyone to take action and it's such a huge emphasis on big companies and they talk about what their why is and why we're so attracted to them and it, his thing is like it's not what you do it's why you do it so that's basically the whole thing of the book which I did really love. Um, I think that I didn't feel like inspired or like in love with it until literally the 
like last chapter I don't know what it was but the last chapter if you've read this book the story that he talks about just like ooh, had me in tears and it really really moved me and inspired me but the first half of the book I felt like I was just like I don't know the way that he writes this book is very repetitive I think and it is on purpose he says the same line every like once again and it is just that same theme throughout the book which obviously every book is but I just yeah I felt sometimes being like have I read this before and then I'm like oh duh we talked like I don't know if that makes sense but it is still a really good book again the last chapter is so good um and yeah it was an easy read to get through I'm really happy Sebastian took me out of my comfort zone to learn something new and it is something that's so easy to now think about like when I see a company that everyone loves I'm like oh that's why we love them you know it's not because they do this it's I don't know if that makes sense but anyway it's a really good book I would definitely check it out and recommend okay my next book is February's book and this is something that I was really interested in reading I'd heard lots about it I'd seen it all over Instagram so I really wanted to dive into it and this is feminists don't wear pink and other lies by Scarlett Curtis and I was mostly excited about this book because it has um, little like all of the pieces written in this book are from women all over the world my two favorite people in the world wrote little pieces for this book and that is Zoe Sugg and Saoirse Ronan so I really wanted to like read their little pieces but also um, I also really just wanted to read this because I really am interested in hearing other people's feminist story or what they believe feminism is and I don't know it is feminism is such a for me a a topic that I'm not super comfortable talking about because I feel like oh I'm not doing it right or I really love makeup and boys and this and that so I don't fit in you know like that sort of thing and this book is so good I cannot stress enough how much I love this book you will find your type of feminist in this book there are people all over the spectrum it just goes to show that there's no right way to be a feminist and it's just it's such an awesome book just to know that like oh that person's just like me or oh I think just like that person like it just helps really my dishwasher is thank you um, it just helps bridge the gap and just kind of fill in those lines of where I felt like I didn't fit in or I can't talk about this or I don't stand up enough or I don't speak out enough it was just it's an awesome book and it's so easy to read and it's just yeah it's a gorgeous book I absolutely loved it I read it in like one week it was so good so I would definitely recommend picking this up okay and my last book hopefully this video isn't too long but my last book is a recommendation this is what I picked up in New York on our trip there and this is from um, Sebastian's cousin Natalia she is like I always say I want to be here when I grow up because she's very well read she's just I don't know she's just like such an awesome powerful strong woman to me like she just is what I feel like I want to be like when I grow up and so I really wanted to get her recommendation for a book and so she recommended three books to me but the one that I started on was The Stranger by Albert Camus and this was an interesting book so the back reads through the story of an ordinary man who unwittingly gets drawn into a senseless murder um, so that's basically what the book is about you're just um, reading the story of how this man gets drawn up into this murder on a beach one afternoon and I really loved the book because of the way it was written I think I almost was like not artsy enough I remember telling Natalia like she asked how I was liking it and I felt like I wasn't artsy enough to like understand it like I've never read a book like this ever before but the first half of the book is written in like very short precise sentences almost like very monotone like the way that it was in my head was very just like yeah that's how I can explain it like short to the point sentences and then the second half of the book is just like a normal dialogue and that was interesting to get through the first half because I was it was almost hard to read that way in my opinion um, but after I read it I really loved the style of it and it was really fun to read such a different book that I've never read before and also just like the story itself is really interesting and it just like is such a page turner like I was like okay I need to know I need to know like I was just constantly whipping through this as fast as I could this again was something I'd never read before and I'm really happy that I kind of broadened my horizons and dive into a book that I'd never 
read before, especially in a style that I was very unfamiliar with. Okay, those are all the books that I've read so far this year, and I would definitely recommend each and every one of them to you. I think it's so fun and important to continue to read. I know audiobooks are so like amazing right now and all the rage, which I really do love them, but I think there's something special about sitting down, holding a book, like that to me is just like the best feeling ever, opening a brand new book. And I would definitely recommend getting in touch with the people around you and having them recommend a book to you as well, something that's completely out of the scope that you would read normally. I think that that makes it even more fun and interesting, even if it's not like something that you insanely would want to read again, like those business books. I don't like crave them, but it is really fun to finish them and be like, okay, I learned something. I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of seeing what I've been reading. I will continue to do these videos throughout the year, especially if you guys love them. Um, let me know in the comments below what books you recommend to me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.